Hi everyone, welcome to the Tesla Economist. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Why is the Cybertruck so amazing? Well, let's start with the competition. There's really only one competitor, a generic looking pickup truck that all look the same and do the same, just with a different badge. The Cybertruck offers all sorts of features that differentiate from that. So let's take a look at why it's so amazing. We can start with the obvious. It has an electric motor. Well, actually up to three electric motors. This means you get the typical Tesla performance and torque along with a decent towing capacity. Of course, all the other advantages that come along with electric motor as well. If you're having so much battery storage, it makes sense to have power outlets for the likes of powering tools, camping equipment, or anything else you want that requires power. The application of this is amazing, given that there is no chance it will run down the entire car battery. As for the power tools, the Cybertruck also offers air compressor that can run tools off too. This comes through the air suspension, which also allows for adjustable height. Particularly if you have a heavy payload, it can adjust the suspension accordingly. It also has the vault, which can electrically retract to hide any contents in the back of the bed. It is solid enough to support a human being and will also contain an optional solar panel to further charge the battery, perhaps another 15 miles a day, which is a really neat feature. The accessories that could be added on are endless, not just from Tesla, but all sorts of third party equipment. It's also easy to weld onto, so it can be customized in all sorts of ways. Due to the fact alone that the shell is bulletproof and the car is so solid and safe, then surely it's got to be a car every police officer wants to be in. Along with the acceleration power, it would make catching up to criminals little competition, and likely the army interested in it for the same reasons. As it's such a head turner, it could transform into a mobile billboard, great for promoting your business as your company car, covered in large bright stickers, Potential customers are bound to notice you when you're driving around town. Of course, think how popular the Cybertruck will be when it joins the Robotaxi network. With all that cargo space they can serve for autonomous delivery too. Great if you need large items delivered across town quickly. It could even open up a whole new businesses that were not previously viable. For anyone working on something like a construction site, they don't have to worry about their car getting scratched or dented, as the exoskeleton is so solid. Then, of course, all the other useful features for builders and contractors, like being able to power all their tools and carry around a massive battery pack wherever they go. Range Rovers are one of the best off-road cars, but they're so insanely expensive that no one would ever want to risk taking it off-road and scratching the paint. The Cybertrek won't get scratched by rocks and trees. You'd have no stress about wrecking your expensive metallic paint, chipping or denting the bodywork. It would likely have off-road advantages with the tri-motor too. Independently powered wheels would be great for off-roading. The adjustable air suspension in particular will improve off-roading too. It also has incredible ground clearance, so it might possibly be the best off-roading option there is. Due to a silent motor, you won't scare away the wildlife easily either. Yes, the design is certainly controversial, that's clearly created polarising opinions, but it has managed to generate a tonne of free publicity as a result. Not everyone has to like it, just enough people to make it viable to sell. But there are reasons it has no curves. Curves are expensive and compromise engineering in other areas. Same with having no paint shop. A paint shop is a very expensive part of manufacturing and time consuming. Removing this makes manufacturing easier, faster and cheaper. And well, it looks like Rivian might just make it to market before Tesla as the first all electric pickup truck. However, Rivian is, a very, Rivian is a very expensive vehicle and has created its own niche, more for the outdoor adventurer. And the car is designed around that sort of utility. Cybertruck is designed around more mainstream utilities and at a much more affordable price point. We talk about Rivian like it's a competitor, but I think Tesla have their eyes really more on the F-150 market, as it's the biggest selling truck in the US. They sell nearly a million a year. When you factor in the savings of gas, the Cybertruck is, a, is at a similar price point. However, truck owners are brand loyal, but will there come a point when they just give in and realize how much better it is, and the fact you don't have to drive it yourself? If Tesla beat Ford in every area, then really consumers will eventually move over. The question might be, can Tesla make them fast enough? The Cybertruck will be using Tesla's new 4680 batteries. This will be Tesla's main car to use the batteries, as the Semi, Model S Plaid and Roadster are small sellers in comparison to the Cybertruck sales. However, the Cybertruck will be a relatively small seller compared to the Model 3 and Model Y. This is one of the reasons new batteries will start in the Cybertruck, as Tesla are not ready to scale them up to the cars yet. The pace they can manufacture Cybertrucks should be similar to the initial battery production pace. The Cybertruck is solid. I'm sure it will actually be the safest car in the world. The fact it has 30 times ultra hard cold rolled stainless steel as an exoskeleton makes the shell bulletproof and the windows are also practically indestructible. Along with the usual EV safety features of not having an engine in front of you or a big tank of flammable liquid behind you, 
In engineering, triangles always have a very strong shape, and we can quite clearly see how the triangular shape has been used in the design. Elon says there's something like 700,000 or so pre-orders, but we don't really know. Considering how many pre-orders that there were for the Model 3, I think around 325,000, with a $1,000 deposit, deposit, when Tesla was barely even known, compare that to how much publicity the Cybertruck got, and with a deposit of only $100, I suspect they have over a million pre-orders, and sure, perhaps only half of them are serious buyers, but still, they have some serious backlog. Well, Tesla are still battery constrained, but by the time the Cybertruck goes into production, Tesla's own batteries will also be in production. They should be producing and scaling the batteries at a similar rate of ramping up the Cybertruck. The batteries will initially be used for the Model S Plaid, Roadster, Semi-Truck and Cybertruck, as these vehicles will be sold with the highest margins, and are therefore the most profitable way to bring the new batteries to market. Tesla's new HVAC will also be in the Cybertruck, but what's unique about this is it might also work in the bed of the truck too. So perhaps if you want to camp out and sleep in the bed, then you could keep it climate controlled in there as well, which is pretty amazing. My kids love the look of it and think it's awesome. And from what I can gather, most kids do. They're way more excited about a Tesla than say a Lamborghini or Ferrari. Tesla has captured the hearts of the future generations. So when they can finally afford a car and are old enough to drive, what car manufacturer are they likely to buy? It is a big heavy chuck and usually performance isn't something you expect. However, Ford released a high performance F-150 called the Raptor and this thing can go 0-60 to 60 in only 5.5 seconds. Pretty fast for a truck. However, the Tri-Motor Cybertruck is at 2.9 seconds. It will go faster than a new Porsche 911. So now you don't have to compromise performance for functionality. Its size is certainly noteworthy. It towers over most other vehicles and has an intimidating presence, but has enough room to comfortably seat six and a bed with abundant storage that can securely be locked up. But is it too big for people to buy? Well, it's very similar to an F-150 in size. Considering that is the largest selling vehicle, then I think we can assume there are enough consumers out there that have no problem with oversized vehicles. Musk has stated that there will likely be a smaller version of the Cybertruck, more suitable for European markets at a later stage. There's even a nap where you can see how your Cybertruck will look in your garage. And to the horror of a lot of consumers, they established that it would not fit in their garage. However, is this a car that really needs to be in a garage? It's practically indestructible, so very unlikely to break into. It doesn't have any fancy paintwork that needs to be protected. It can't be scratched or dented. So maybe it actually doesn't even need to be in a garage after all. In fact, you'll also be able to get a solar roof option that can charge 15 miles in a day. So by leaving it outside, it will also charge itself for free too. But it would be great for camping. When you've settled in your campground, you don't need to do much driving. 15 miles a day is probably enough. Without the stress and concern of finding the nearest charging station, the solar roof would be ideal. All these features I've mentioned are unique to the Cybertruck. The Tesla Cybertruck is the only vehicle that offers such a smorgasbord of features. It also seems to be fairly priced into the market. Personally, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I was one of the few who loved it from the start, especially now when you look back at the other generic pickup trucks that look so boring and unfunctional. A lot of people have started to get their heads around the design now too. I'm sure when people start seeing them driving the roads, they'll get more and more used to them and accepting of the future design of automobiles. Some consumers simply won't be able to resist the functions and features of the car and how it can add to their lifestyles or work. This car is a necessity for them. Others will just have to have it because they love it. And sure, some will buy it just to turn people's heads. Either way, I'm all for a more exciting future and I welcome innovative new designs like the Cybertruck. And I honestly don't see how it won't become the biggest selling pickup. I've never even considered owning a pickup truck in my life, but I put a deposit down on a Cybertruck. Why would you really want any of the others? Just because you're brand loyal. Anyway, thanks for listening. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.